Yo, I just built a bridge and I'm gonna show you how to do it too. Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we got nine mods for you. For all platforms, we have five new and two updates. And for PC and Mac players, we have two updates for you as well. Let's check them all out. First up today, new mods for all platforms from Cas64 and OAG. We have the placeable log bridge. Now this is the larger version, but we have three total. These you can place on any part of your map that you wish, whether it's in the water or not, actually. It's kind of neat. And they come in three different versions. So let's check them out. In order to find them, what we're going to do is we're going to go into placeables and we're going to go to miscellaneous. Now I'm going to use the search because I'm lazy. Here we can see the three bridges. We have a short version, which you can see right here, which is well, definitely shorter than the version that we've added. We have the long version, which is exactly the version that I've placed down. And then we have the middle. So if you want something a little bit longer than short, well, maybe that's the one you want to go with. These are very easy to place down. And as you can see, uh, you can kind of put them wherever you want. <laughs> you can even maybe build a couple of them and put them together just like so. Uh, however, I may not be the one that you want to do this because I don't know how to do this very well. I'm not Is that close. Not even. <laughs> wow. Good job, DJ. Anyway, it's I mean, it's a bridge, right? Place it down. Do your thing. You can walk, drive over it, do whatever you want. It does have the oh, do 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 do. <laughs> it's got that going on. So when you're driving across it with your tractor or whatever, it's gonna bounce a little bit. But hey, it's a log bridge. It's not a concrete bridge. Check it out. If you guys are on console, slot counts are going to be seven slots for the short bridge. As far as the bridge long, that's going to cost seven slots as well. And then the bridge middle, which interestingly, this is going to be only three slots. And speaking of middle bridge, this one doesn't have any signs on it. So you can actually use this one legitimately for putting like in the middle. Like maybe you're building one long bridge. Well, this is going to be good middle pieces for you. Next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Krampy Halfpipe HP 30. This is a very useful trailer for transporting uh, different things. It will do all bulk crops. So whatever you've got as a bulk crop on your map, whether it be modded or not, this is going to handle it just fine. 16,300 liter capacity, and it's going to take up four slots if you guys are on consoles. Main color, we have Krampy Red. We have Fent Green, Fent Orange. Does Fent have an orange? And then we have New Holland Blue as well. Would have been nice to see all of the colors since we're going to add a couple extra ones, but maybe these are true to the real life colors. Design this is going to be your frame on the bottom. You can change that up as well. Wheel Brands, we have Michelin tires, Nokia tires, and back and forth between those. It's going to cost you 42 grand. How's about a new three meter cultivator for all platforms? I know you guys were dying, dying to have one of these. The Lemkin H at Z8, 110 horsepower, three meters, 10 miles per hour. And it's going to take up two slots if you guys are on console. Design, we have back attachment or front attachment. So kind of neat. You could put this on the front or rear of your tractor. Very cool there. Plus, it looks like we still have some hookups right here to hook up maybe a cultivator. I say cultivator. Three meter cedar, maybe something like that if you're running this on the back of your tractor. It's going to cost you 7,800 buckaroos. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Lizard Cop KOP 1.0M. This is going to hold 100 liters of sugar beets. This is a sugar beet harvester to dig the sugar beets out of the ground and deposit them via the bank in a nice little windrow for you guys. You know, we have sugar beet windrows. Very cool. So 50 horsepower required, one meter working with, but it's pretty normal for a machine like this. Three meter or three miles per hour. Sorry. at four slot count. As far as colors go, main color, we got quite a few older colors digging that and then design colors changes up to a green that is going to be the wheel on the bottom jumping over here real quick you take a look at the bottom harvester dig sugar beets out of the ground Holland topper is needed prior to use and your last new mod for all platforms of course the polish dog house polish dog kennel made of wood and tar paper perfect for your farm price gonna be 500 bucks daily upkeep one dollar per day it's gonna cost you two slots and 
Be careful, if you put it too close to the road, the dog will play in the road, and we know that is not a good thing. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today, we only have two of them, the first of which is going to be the Kuhn FA367 mower version 1.1.1, added new colors and new description version. So, yep, hope you like red. There you go, uh, red colors all the way around. If you guys are unfamiliar with this piece of equipment, it is a sickle mower, 10 horsepower required, two meter working with, at seven miles per hour at a cost of one slot on consoles. This is a really cool mower and is great for those of you just getting started out. Mowers can be kind of expensive. As you guys know, I mean, what, 19, 20 grand, something like that? The sickle mower costs 4,300 bucks. Check it out. And your only other mod update for all platforms today is going to be of the underground silo. This is going to be ChangeDog 1.1. Now almost everything fits in with it where it is in FS19, AKA it's multi-fruit. Capacity has been increased and small changes as well. So the capacity has been increased. I don't know what it was before. However, I will tell you, uh, it's 1.5 million liters now. So I think you'll be okay. And then as far as the extension on the right-hand side, this is at 300. 100,000 liters and this is going to yeah it's just 300,000 liters and it? it's a little bit expensive uh expensive it's only 100 grand goodness gracious these are awesome if you guys are looking for some different types of silos and maybe you don't want to go with the TARDIS well go with this I still recommend the TARDIS because it literally does everything but it's pretty cool nonetheless. We do have one new mod for console players today. I just saw this. This is the Lizard Oplanega TO50-1. Now, PC players already have a version of this. I think it's the, the branded version, but console players now have the Lizard version. It's a loading wagon, 7,000 liter capacity, 30 horsepower, nine miles per hour. It will take up 22 slots. So it is very highly detailed. If we take a look, here are all of your rim colors. Got a nice color palette going on there. Main color, again, very good color palette going on here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna change this up to red. Oh yeah, let's just go with a black rim. Why not? And then design color. This is gonna be the color on the front. So you can see that changed up. Now it is brown. Design color, we have, or design color, pick cover, pick up, cover front, all or neither. Design, we have none. We have front decals, main decals, all or none. It will set up standard double axle and back to standard again. All right, let's make our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players first, of which is gonna be the AgriLift GRM ZNS version 1.1, corrected the model, new normal and specular, new store and icon, minor fixes and improvements. If you guys are unfamiliar with this mod, it is a subsoiler, 160 horsepower required, three meters at seven miles per hour. And your only other mod update for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Baylor add-on from DD Mod Passion. This is gonna be change of 2.002, Increased support for other types of bailers. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. If you guys haven't checked out the Shorts channel yet, make sure you guys do that. Release videos all throughout the day on mods, news, and other stuff as well to give you guys shorter versions of the main videos so you can just see what you want. All be done. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.